Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for it by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashy's hair clipping. But Dashy must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <sighs> Don't roar at me. <sighs> That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. Oh. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have Octonauts! <sighs> we seem to have landed... somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hey guys, it's great to see you. Um, Dashy, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> Quasi, these gups have never been cleaner. Well, as I always say, Captain, if you're going to do a job, you might as well do it properly. I'm amazed how fast you're able to do this. And all on your own, too. Um, yes. <laughs> well, I, I didn't do it all on my own. You didn't? Quasi, I'm still hungry. I need to eat and clean, clean and eat. You got any more? Um, <laughs> meet my new cleaning assistant, the pilot fish. Hello. You must have followed us back here from the reef. The reef? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I bet I could find something to eat and clean out there. What do you pilot fish usually clean? Sharks. Shiver me whiskers. Isn't that dangerous? Nope. Pilot fish and sharks help each other. I keep the shark's teeth clean. The shark scares away other fish that might try to eat me. If I could find another shark, then I could eat and clean all I want. I'd never be hungry again. Hey, there was a shark at the reef who chased us, and his teeth were pretty dirty. I wonder if they just needed a clean. A shark with dirty teeth? Oh, boy, boy, do you think we could find him? I reckon we can. Octonauts, our little friend helped us clean the gups, and now we're going to help him find that white tip shark. Peso, Quasi, you're with me. I'm ready to protect our little pilot fish if anything goes wrong with that shark. And I'm ready to take care of both of you if you get hurt. And I'm ready to eat and clean, clean and eat. Octonauts, let's do this. Open the octo hatch, Tweak. You got it, Cap. This definitely beats 
Just cleaning cups, me hotties. Ah, there's no sign of that shark anywhere. What if we can't find him? <gasps> shark! 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 And his teeth are still dirty, too. Yow! <laughs> Steady! Mm -mm -mm. Time to eat and clean. Clean and eat. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Open wide, buddy! <laughs> Uh, he's okay. Ah, uh, that's better already. You're just the little fella I needed to clean my teeth. <laughs> I'm glad to help. So the shark was just trying to use the gup A as a toothbrush to clean his teeth. But now he has his own pilot fish to do the job. And I have my own shark to protect me. Uh, gotta go. Eat and clean. Clean and eat. You know how it is. Thanks, Octonauts. Bye. Bye, pilot fish. It's not working all right. Not beeping, nor whirring, nor nothing. And here's why. Three holes in the rubber cable. Just like the holes in the gup. Three more holes here. And here. Hmm. Who's biting our equipment? <sighs> Captain, Quasi, I found another set of teeth. Where? Yeah. They were here just a second ago. Look! It's gone. There's nothing around but those skinny little fish. It's like someone's playing tricks on us and then disappearing. Who would do that? I know, but I wish I didn't. It is none other than the Tri-Toothed Terror. The Who-Toothed Water? The Tri-Toothed Terror, a giant sea monster with three huge sharp teeth. He sneaks up on pirate ships, bites them with his enormous teeth, <coughs> then disappears into thin air. You think the Tri-Toothed Terror could be around here, following us? Hmm, I don't think we're dealing with the Tri-Toothed Terror. Well, if it isn't the Tri-Toothed Terror that made these holes, then what was it, I ask ye? <laughs> Where's that coming from? <laughs> it's a blue whale. Maybe he's seen something that could help us work this out. <laughs> Excuse me, but... <laughs> What's so funny? It's me eye patch, Crooked. <laughs> Something's tickling my blubber, but I can't tell what. I wish it would stop now. <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> it's down by my tail. <laughs> ah. We've seen these marks before. Oh, it's under my chin now. <sighs> that scurvy tried to terror must be nearby, but where? Oh, I've, I've got to get out of here. Hold on to me. I think the creature who gave you the giggles is the same one that's been giving us trouble. It left more of them tiny round marks in your blubber. Don't worry, Blue Whale. The Octonauts will find the troublemaker and stop him. Ah, no, nope. too big. Too small, too thin. Nope, nope, nope. <gasps> Wait a minute. There, that's it. Captain, I know whose teeth these are. Great work, Shellington. They're called cookie-cutter sharks. They dig their teeth into a whale's blubber and leave round holes, the way a cookie-cutter leaves a shape in dough or pastry. So that's why they went after the blue whale. They wanted a bite of his blubber. How do I fix it? Our ship, the Octopod, has a sick bay. I could put some medicine on your nose there, bandage it up, and make it as good as new. Dude, you're the best. Let's go. Right this way. Oh, God! You're the wrong way again! Uh, don't 
Don't worry, Lemmy. Once your nose is all better, you won't bump into things anymore. <coughs> Thanks. <sighs> OK, Lemmy. First, you need a little medicine on your nose. <laughs> that tickles. Second, you need a bandage. Whoa, thanks! So, is that it? Can I go home now? You need to wait a little while for your nose to heal. If you go right now, you'll still get lost and bump into things. <sighs> OK, but do I have to wait in here? I like it better outside. Only if you stay right outside the octopod. I'll hang out right here. And I'll be back to check on you later. Cool! Captain, I've bandaged up Lemmy's nose. As soon as it's better, he'll be able to find his way around again. Good work, Peso. Now, show me how you bandage a nose. <sighs> I'm bored. There's not much to do out here. Wouldn't hurt just to leave for a minute. And then I'll totally come right back. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll check on Lemmy. Oh, no. Where did he go? He's swimming away in a crazy zigzag pattern, really fast. Flafferty flippers. He can't tell where he's going. Captain, he could get hurt. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a young lemon shark out there whose nose isn't working. He could get lost or hurt if we don't catch up with him right away. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Right here. Aye, aye, in... cap. Ah, there he is. This is a fast one, that's for sure. <laughs> He's heading that way. But none of my old books mention a shark as small as the one you saw, Peso. See? Your eyes must have been playing tricks on you. I know what I saw. It was a teeny tiny little shark. And if he was swept downwards, we'll have to look for him in deeper, darker waters. Come on. We've got a tiny shark to find. Barnacle's out. Yeah. How are we supposed to find anything down here in the dark? Peso said the little shark glows, so let's shut off our lights so we can see if anything's glowing out there. Shiver me whiskers! It looks like outer space. Each of those lights is a different sea creature. One of them must be the little shark. If he was swept down this way, he probably didn't get far. We'll have to split up. But be careful, it's so dark down here that it's easy to get lost. Deep sea suits on, everyone. Aye, 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 Captain. aye Captain. Uh, excuse me, are you... Oh, you're not a tiny shark at all. You're an anglerfish. <laughs> you got that right, pal? Ah, oh, these are no sharks, that's for sure. Just a glowing jellyfish. Oh, that one's really bright. Nope, hatchet fish. Where are you, little shark? Where am I? Peso to Captain Barnacles. I seem to have got separated from the group. Where are you? Can anybody hear me? Oh no, my radio isn't working. I must be too far away from the others. 
Oh, is that the lantern shark? No, it's much bigger and brighter, and it's coming right at me. Yikes! Ahoy, Peso! Quasi? Why are you swimming upside down? I'm not upside down. You're upside down. You got that wrong, pal. Huh? <sighs> Come on, Peso. We need to go find the other octonauts. But we haven't found the tiny shark yet. Peso, I've chased after lots of strange creatures, and the truth is, sometimes you find them, and sometimes you don't. But this one needs our help. Well, if we don't find Captain Barnacles and the others, we're going to need help too. Righto. Let's stick together. I'll look for the shark, while you look for the octonauts. Shellington, have you seen Peso or Quasi? The great white shark is one of the most powerful predators in the sea. And one of the hungriest. That's true. He does like to eat. And he'll try just about anything to see if he likes it. If he doesn't, he'll just spit it out. Well, I'm not afraid of any shark. I don't care how great he is. Peso, I can bandage him. Um, Quasi, I'm the medic. It's my job to help any creature who is hurt or sick, no matter what. Shellington, is there a way to safely approach the great white shark? There is one way. Sometimes, when a shark is flipped over on its back, it gets very calm and peaceful. But he only stays that way for a short amount of time. I could bandage the shark if it were calm and peaceful, but he's swimming away. Oh! 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 oh. Many sharks have to keep moving to stay alive. If they stop moving, they can't breathe. Then we'll need to flip the shark over to calm him down. Keep him moving so he can breathe, and then Peso can bandage him up. Tweak, prepare the Gup X. Great white shark straight ahead. Attention, shark. We are the Octonauts, and we're here to help. Ooh, that looks tasty. If it's all right, I'd like to take a look at your fin. Then I can... As I was saying, I... Hank! Oh, I know I should just say thank you for trying to help me. Hank! But a shark's got to eat! Ha-ha! <laughs> you can't eat the gub eggs! Hank! <laughs> He's getting tired, and if he gets too tired, he'll stop moving, and he won't be able to breathe! Then we need to act fast. Quasi, can you go out there and distract the shark while I flip him over? My pleasure, Captain! Yow! See him trying to eat. You can't take a bite out of that. Plus, I'm a lot tastier. Seriously? Ooh, I'll try anything once. Well, you'll have to catch me first, matey. Woohoo! Oh, my fin hurts. Mm, but I'm still going to get you. <laughs> Here, shocky, shocky. Follow me this way. Good work, Quasi. And flip. I feel so calm. Do you still want to eat us? Why would I want to eat you? I just want to be your friend. Captain, he's in a trance. Calm as a clam. Time for the next part of the plan. <laughs> that kind of thing. Fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? 
Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws with all your might. Search for kills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery path. This is fun. Now what? Now it's story time. Uh, once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taken forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cool. Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah. You can do it, Peso. Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to work through. Captain, use your polar bear strength. I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. <laughs> Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope. And I'm here to take these stinger barbs out. Whoa! One down, a lot more to go. Yeah, sharky, sharky, sharky. Aha! Looks like she's after an octopus. Got your leg, but I want you. Yeah. Actually, it looks like I've got you. I won't be able to follow that pup anywhere if that octopus gets her first. Uh, I know. Ah, take a shot! <laughs> Tweak's new camouflage worked like a charm. That old octopus thought I was a. <gasps> take a shot! Wait! I'm not really a tiger shark, I. Oh, these little pups really do get confused by the cups. Quasi to Shellington. I'm following one of the hammerhead pups, and she's a wild one. Good work, Quasi. Don't lose her now. Well, that's two of the hammerhead pups. Just one more to find. I can smell food. I just can't see it. <coughs> you can't get away from me. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, my head is stuck. <laughs> hey, somebody help! Look, down there! The third hammerhead! And he's stuck! <laughs> We're the Octonauts, We're here to help! <laughs> he's really stuck! We'd better call for backup! There, the last one! Peso, Quasi, come in. We found the third pup, but his head is stuck. We need your help. Stuck? We've got to help me, brother! Captain! We're on our way! <laughs> come on! Our brother's in trouble! Oh, no! Ahoy, Peso! These little pups put up a good chase, don't they? You're telling me? Peso, 
Quasi, over here. Oh, oh, ouch. This does me feel too good. Some slippery ointment should help slide his hammerhead out. Good idea. Everyone else, grab a fin. Don't worry. We'll have you out and swimming in no time. On my count, everyone pull. Ready? Three, two, one.